Hello and welcome to this short demonstration to help you quickly get started using 4TU Research Data, Data Publishing and Management Services. My name is Jan van der Hul, I'm a data curator at 4TU Research Data. In this video I describe our metadata review process that your data undergoes upon submission to improve its findability, accessibility, interoperability and reusability. Our focus in a metadata review is on the metadata, not on the data itself, although we do look at it too, as will become clearer in this tutorial. We first look at the title to check whether it's clear to an outsider what the dataset is about. Often titles like supporting data or data zip are listed. These are insufficient and should be changed to a more descriptive title. Author. Next we check whether an author has uploaded a dataset before and whether there is an ORCID. We also try to find out by means of author's publications, the subject area and institutional affiliation. Questions if co-authors should be mentioned if they played an active role in the creation of the dataset, if they are mentioned in the publication and are not yet included in the metadata. The subject categories we use are taken from the Australian and New Zealand standard research classification. We use this classification because it best matches the dataset in our repository. We have a look at the entered categories and check if the chosen categories are adequate and suggest others or more if necessary. Keywords. We have a look at the keywords and check if the chosen keywords are adequate and suggest more if necessary. We also look at Scopus, Web of Science and other online sources for the keywords and other useful information that can enhance the metadata of a dataset. Item type. This can be dataset or software. We check if the chosen type is the right one. We then also check if the chosen license is the right one for a dataset or software. Description. As with the title, it does not have to be extensive as long as it covers the dataset well. What we want is a brief description of the contents of the dataset, the purpose of the study, the type of study, the data collection method and the type of data. Funding. We will check if the funding can be derived from the Dimensions database, if this has not already been done. This can be done by entering only the grant number without all the text. If not, we suggest leaving the funding as it was entered by the uploader. Resource title. We check for eventually peer-reviewed publication, if this is not entered. Resource DOI. If there is a peer-reviewed publication, we suggest to fill in both resource title and resource DOI fields. Both fields need to be filled in. License. We check if it's the right one. This is because there is an old license from our previous repository, which is not in use anymore, but still in the list because there are some old datasets with this license. References. Links to any relevant content or external sources that help describe the resource. All links must be full, valid URLs or DOIs in order to function. We check always if the link resolves. Language. We check if the data, metadata is the same language as filled in here. Time coverage. We check on the basis of publications, readmes, whether the filled in dates correspond with the filled in figures. Geolocation. This is often introduced with the location of the university, but it is not the intention. The geolocation is mainly about those places where specific research has taken place or to which the data refers. Geolocation, longitude and latitude we check if the filled in numbers are correct. Format. The uploader can choose to indicate what kind of files have been uploaded. This is a non-mandatory field. However, if it is filled in, we check of course if this corresponds with the data and suggest to include them if not present. Data link. Mostly used if the data 
is, for example, netcdf, is placed on the OpenDAP server. Derived from. When this field is filled in, we check if this link resolves. Same as. When this field is filled in, we check if the link resolves and points to the same dataset. Organizations. We check if this field is filled in and if it's correctly done. If not, we suggest to enter the affiliation of the uploader as complete as can be. That is university and faculty, department and group. Data. We have a look at what kind of data has been uploaded. To do suggestions if it is one of our preferred formats, do suggestions to place data on the OpenDAP server if it is NetCDF. The README. There is no README field, but it is a text file with data specific information, parameters and or variables, used column, headings, code, symbols, used, etc. We advise to add the README as a separate file. Researchers feedback. They agree or prefer to give the original metadata or come with an alternative proposal. They now can edit a proposal as soon as this is done and when we are informed, we accept and publish the dataset if all is okay. We hope this video of the metadata review process helps make the steps to publishing your data in our repository as simple as possible. I thank you for watching this video. Good luck with using 4TU research data. We hope this video tutorial helps make the steps towards publishing your data in our repository as simple as possible. You can find more details about these and other topics on our FAQ webpage. For more information about how 4 u research data can support you, please visit our website or send us an email via researchdata at 4tu.nl. To find fellow fair data enthusiasts from your research discipline and to join our growing community of researchers and research data support professionals, please visit our community website.